So ladies and gentlemen, hello. Uh, this is my session for the requisite agility and conference. So um, my topic will be today about from whale to swarm. So I will share with you my screen now so you can see everything that I'm talking about. So uh, thinking about today, after the COVID-19, it's a very good, interesting approach to think about the future of work, to think about what we have to do, to and what may might be the way we have to work together in the future. From wheel, my approach will be, we have to go from a wheel to a swarm. A wheel is the big fish and the swarm is a bunch of small fishes, or a bunch of small swift fishes. So what we can see, so here I use not, that's a whale fish, this is a whale shark, which is, it sounds, a shark sounds mysterious, it sounds very heavy, it sounds very, oh, frightened, but in fact it's just eating plankton. it's very small micro animals, and, and the big, and the small fishes are not afraid of it. And, and you see the small fishes are uh, in, in the swarm, they use what you say flocking behavior. So let's first of all, before going in that uh, small conversation today about remembering COVID-19. When you think about COVID-19, what, what, what happened? We have the protection, we have, okay, we are confined, we were uh, blocked at home, uh, we were not able to social interact with people. Uh, personally, I was stuck three months at home alone in Germany. Um, so that's why I'm maybe a little bit silly today. It's uh, I missed such kind of social interaction. And you're seeing like uh, blocked in the prison, uh, watching the work, uh, the, the world moving alone uh, uh, away from your side. You're not active in the world. And, 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 and COVID-19 brings a lot of fear, meaning you have the fear about your own health. You have the fear of the health of your beloved people and also you have the fear because you can't work properly so meanings you have the fear about maybe using losing your job and a lot of people lost their job i lost my job let's say i lost the contracts are stopped for covid 19 reasons okay we can understand it right on another on a way is this over protecting all this fear of coronavirus brought a lot of weird, weird situation. And maybe, and sometimes we had people working better because you have to work from home. Uh, but at the beginning, you have to understand how you can organize yourself better at home because you have your kids, you have maybe your spouses, or uh, maybe your partners at home, and you have to manage all your day. It's confusing at the beginning. What really happened is people did quite well, in fact. Huh? So coronavirus is something that we can use here. Hello, attention, this is coming up, or maybe you will have wave two. And to be honest, if we have wave two, we know what to do. We have masks and we can do social distancing. So we had the first learning factor behind us. So now, now today, we are the day, day after, we are back in business. What's happening now? So we have this famous New Year's Resolution meanings. Oh, this will be much better than before. We will just change everything. We have. We can take care of our people. Uh, our customers are coming back. It's like like stopping for holidays, right? Our business has stopped during the holidays. We're opening, and everything is moving, uh, coming back like before. So the customer didn't wait us. It's not, everyone is happy to move away. It's like nothing happens. You're coming back in the business, and even though you see. Okay, it's something work, should work better. So what we discover is, so, so I'm living in Germany. So the business have started again, let's say a month ago, but nothing really changed. So what happened? So it's always, so back in the business, doing business as usual is, it's coming back in control. So people say, okay, we try to control everything. We try to, 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 to measure everything, we have to, have, we have to use the processes, we have to apply the processes so we can go back in the business. The problem is this situation is new. So you don't have processes because it's new. 
you have processes with all stuff, yes? You experiment it first, and you, have, you can say, okay, you have a history, you have a background, and you can really build a process so you can repeat it, like in a factory. So that process doesn't exist. So what do you want to control? Something which doesn't exist. But this is what happens. So people are just now checking out what is happening and we want to control the situation. So, and the decisions are also done like before. Meaning we have a long debate, we have to discuss a long term, we have to take decisions, or we have, that we have proper funding, if you have funding at all. Uh, uh, then you have to go or say, take decision about a strategy, or now we have the strategy, then give this uh, contract internally to the purchase, in some contracts with uh, uh, third parties, with usually very cheap one, because we are looking for, we don't know where is the future, so we have to take care about the money, because you want to have the money for your own employees. That's fair, that's okay. But then you have to look for cheaper, and the cheaper are abroad. The cheaper are mostly in India or maybe China. And they're also struggling with Corona now. They're still in the confusion. So you want, you want to have to buy cheap, but you can't find cheap. Or maybe your cheap provider are no longer existing because their business case broke. It's not possible. So what's about your partners? Because opening the gates, like uh, just coming back from holidays, you'll think, oh, everything's all right, the partners are going to move. But your partners suffered too. And your partners, maybe they broke. And maybe your partner has to stop the production or maybe have to fire everyone. So maybe you work as a partner with 100,000 employees and now they have no one. And maybe most of them are sick. Or maybe they don't have the infrastructure because you don't, you're, you're working with low wages countries and you're expecting that the work is done by magic. Doesn't matter, doesn't work this way. So you have to call back your own employees and that's okay, that's a good thing. But what is happening? Your employees, do you think they're coming like, oh, promise land again? See, and what is the trust you build with employees? Meaning, if the after means I have, I have to work with a company which have to be fully engaged, fully passionate, and working a lot of time, and maybe get paid, and maybe not get paid, and maybe get fired. What is the level of trust you have here? And maybe you have to hear an image of the company that, oh, he doesn't care about the employees, they don't care about us, they doesn't care about our health, they doesn't care about the health of my family, of, of my neighbors, or whatever. So it's, huh. the values are always hard, right? So now you call back, so you can't, and even so, you, you, you believe that the, the skills, the talents, you have it internally, but in fact, you don't have it internally. You work with a lot of freelancers, people with high skilled freelancers, experts. So you have to call them back. But what's happened with these freelancers? Same thing. A couple of freelancers, they have to shut down their, com their companies because they have no job, no money, and, and not enough money. Uh, or maybe they, they moved away to another customer, which is paying much better than you. So you can't even trust that you can't, can't get the relationship with them. Or like me, I'm a freelancer. So you're moving away to another company. Or maybe even though you have to think about, maybe I have to be hired by another company, even if I don't do what I love to do. Because now I have to survive. So day after is think surviving. What's about the customers? My customers are sitting, in, they want to shop, but they don't want to shop. So it's a very curious answer. They want to shop because they need things, but then, then they're afraid. They don't want to spend money. So we have, you go in, in the cities, you have a lot of people working around, but they're not buying something. They're just looking for something or maybe oh, giving the feeling of interacting socially with the community. And that's great. So you have to think maybe all your business model is down. The situation is that we have a situation. And a situation means the companies, the organization, we are not ready, absolutely not. They are completely under panic. They took the wrong decisions. Their business model are broken or completely obsolete. Uh, the old the beliefs crashed, completely crashed, meaning, oh, we can do this, this can be handled by this. No, they crashed. And we have now a very big hangover. 
Uh, but is not is that very very big, big? Absolutely not. It's not such a hangover you can't fix with a coffee, right? So I have to think about something else. So let's change a little bit our perspective. And for this, I want to tell you a story, to make a metaphor. Uh, maybe do you remember the Titanic? This big shift, and when you have this uh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio say, I'm the king of the world, and etc., cetera, etc., cetera. you have uh, fancy movies around this, but it, Titanic already exists. It was the top of the notch of what you can do uh, with uh, shipping. It was the biggest, the safest, high quality, that the first of class of new communication devices into it. Everything was top of the notch. It was the best in class of cruises. And what happens is, so uh, very close to Newfoundland, they say, oh, they, he came with here. I say, oh my God, there's an iceberg in three kilometers. Oh my God, we are dead. And we are, we'll, we'll be dead. And this iceberg is that we call a black swan. So we call it the black swan. It's something you didn't expect it at all but to be honest if you're cruising in the in atlantic north quite close to greenland and you're not expecting uh, an iceberg um, you're uh, maybe stupid or completely arrogant that's not possible i do believe this was a second solution is this oh we are so good we can pass through the icebergs but it doesn't work that way I expect us stronger, that's nature. So it likes COVID-19, we already knew this information. It was not, it's like an iceberg floating Atlantic North. It's not a surprise, we already knew this in November, but nobody called to action. But we have to be ready. In another way around, so what's happening is, so we have an iceberg here and it's, oh my God, poof, down, we are close. So a lot of deaf people. But what can we learn of this is, the belief that robustness can solve the problem is a completely old mindset and robustness nowadays in the 21st century leads to disaster. The robust, robustness is also the belief that if we are all big together, we are much bigger. So this is colonialism, is we have to be big. We have to think that I have to use this methodology here in my country is so good that the whole world should embrace it. But if you take back and take a look about the history, what happened very well, it was what Genghis Khan made. Genghis Khan, uh, okay, was not a cool guy, but he, he went to the village and say, okay, uh, killed everyone, let one, uh, one guy uh, living and say, you run the next village. You say, they have to surrender or I kill them all. So they went to the next village, everyone surrender and say, now you're all Huns like us. It's uh, working, expanding by assimilation. And this assimilation is changing your own habits. Like, so if I resume the metaphor, on the other hand, we have something else. We have something what we call swarms, like here, the small fishes, right? So my swarm has something very particular. So if I come back, my swarm idea to the boat, the big boat is, I would have a, a big, big boat composed with small, uh, small boats, small uh, speed boats. And if I have a small speedboat facing the iceberg, you say, I have this black swan the iceberg, my fish will say, okay, what's the problem here? I don't care. You, you don't care. So the idea is having high adaptable or high responsible organization that you can face any threats or any opportunity, but you have to have to think about the, every entity, everyone in, in, in such organization has his word. He's part of your know, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth of the company. So we all, everyone in the company is empowered to move that way. So how does this work? So we have something called AO model. It's based on the flocking behavior or like the say, okay, what is here? So we have some bond boundaries. These are model company boundaries. And to, to have this, uh, the, the swarming effect, which is high, the ability to, to respond. So swarming was you working at home for the company, meaning, and maybe in the small teams, it's changing completely the way you're working, but it's highly effective 
And so you have to separate from the hive, which is main, the main road, the hive. Then you have to think about alignment. Alignment is not stalking together every five minutes in, 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 in a call. No, just once a day you align or say, are we going here? Yes, yeah, yes. So you have the feeling, the sense of belonging you have. Then you have to be cohesion. Is not work on everything everywhere around, like puzzle ideas. No, just one thing at a time, one step at a time. And you're avoiding also avoidance means avoiding bumping in something else, bumping in something or project or bumping a lot of things. Makes no sense at all. And then this, this alignment, cohesion, avoidance creates what we call a team idea, team spirit, the swarm. The swarm doesn't stay forever, but can stay maybe a week or two weeks or three weeks, a month or maybe three months, but it's not forever. And here we know from the human behavior concept, it's a maximum of 10 people, between five and 10 people. Five beings a good dynamic, meaning, so it's about also fixed boundaries, like we call stable teams. And we have here a fixed speed, so maybe what we call also in agile world, sprint or releases, meaning, uh, let's make feedback loops to say, okay, are we okay on that? And then you can learn and you can share, and you can experiment. But this model has a huge challenge, means this model has to challenge about the leadership, because the very, very nature of swarms, which is what we call organic way of working in a complex world, is very organic, means that the rules are super simple. The teams are self-managed. It's not that they don't need management. No, they don't need it. It's, it's just managed. You know what to do. You don't need to have somebody to tell you what to do. I think a bit out of time, as usual. So it sounds a little bit high level for you. I'm quite sure. If you want more, I, I really invite you to meet uh, in June 26, so we can dive deeper together uh, on this topic. And I will explain the methodology or maybe how we work together and how it works very well. And so people are happy to meet the best and have a great day after. And no worries, it sounds maybe weird, but it's going well. I'm sure. Thank you so much for your time. See you soon. Bye-bye.